The James Webb Telescope is the most powerful observatory ever launched, and its massive 21-foot mirror promises to change our view of the universe forever. And now it is doing just that. In February 2023, it made a seismic discovery which has physicists like Miki Okaku questioning whether we were wrong. Last year, the James Webb Telescope recorded the light from six ultra-distant galaxies, lying at the very edge of the universe, more than 13.5 billion light-years from Earth. These galaxies existed very near the beginning of time, because their light emissions have taken the equivalent number of years to cross space towards Earth. But there's something amiss, because the standard model of cosmology assumes the universe is around 13.8 billion years old, starting out small in an event known as the Big Bang. And the cosmic web of galaxies that exists today has been building from the ground up ever since, starting out with very small, torrid, gaseous galaxies, which had barely any time to form any stars. But these six galaxies, in addition to being some of the most distant and therefore earliest galaxies we've ever found, seem to be bursting with stars, with luminosities correlating to hundreds of millions, and stellar masses similar to our Milky Way galaxy. According to the standard model of cosmology, Lambda CDM, these galaxies shouldn't exist. There wouldn't have been enough time for so many stars to spring up. In fact, it isn't until about a billion years into the universe's life that we start seeing galaxies of similar sizes forming elsewhere. So, what gives? Scientists are so confused, they have been calling these six galaxies the universe breakers. Several tentative explanations have been proposed. Anti-Big Bang theorists have been highlighting this obvious hole in the standard model, while skeptics have been proposing that variable factors such as intergalactic dust extinguishing the light from these galaxies may make them seem dimmer and farther away. But there's more, because one publication from a scientist at the University of Ottawa aimed to combine these two explanations to create a wild new theory about the universe, proposing that our measurements of intergalactic redshift are being exaggerated by an unidentified phenomenon, which is causing the light to lose extra energy in addition to its redshift by the universe's expansion. If this is the case, the paper argued that it could be exaggerating our estimates of the Hubble constant, the rate at which the universe is expanding. As such, the universe may be growing slower than expected, which would make it far older, as it would have taken longer to reach its present size. This re-evaluates the age of the universe from 13.8 billion years to around 26.7 billion years, almost double the age we once thought. This would explain the universe breaker galaxies by giving them much more time to form new stars than we originally believed. It would also explain some other irregularities we see elsewhere, such as stars which appear to be over 14 billion years old. A lot more research will need to be performed on both fronts, but a universe almost double the age we have measured from so many other sources is a big blow for science. Suddenly, Webb's illuminating 21-foot mirror has us back in the dark. As this telescope continues to probe the cosmos, it will continue to reveal phenomena that challenge the Big Bang Theory. And this was only in its first year of operation. Perhaps when it has been around for as long as the Hubble telescope, we'll realize that we were wrong. Thanks for watching the Space Shack. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to help our channel grow.